Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to introduce the control variables in the structural model. Control variables are the additional variables that are included in the SAM model to account for potential confounding effects or to control for other factors that could influence the relationships between the variables of the interest. They are often used to improve the precision and the validity of the estimates by reducing the omitted variable bias. Now the control variables introduces the effect which is known as a confounding. Now what is this confounding effect? Let's see. Imagine you want to study if drinking coffee is related to having a headache. So you ask people about their coffee consumption and if they are having a headache or not. You might find the people who drink more coffee tend to have more headaches. But here is a tricky part. There might be another factor like stress that is affecting the people's coffee consumption and can cause more headaches. So in this case, stress is a confounding variable because it confuses the relationship between the coffee and headaches. Let's take one more example. It has been found that ice cream consumption increases the number of sunburns. How is it possible? So there is a third variable which is a confounding variable that is the temperature. This confounding variable affects the independent variable, the ice cream consumption as well as it also affects the dependent variable number of sunburns. So the presence of confounding variable, in the presence of confounding variable, the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable becomes strong. So we want to find out in our model that is there any confounding effect or not. So let's go in SPSS MS. So this is a model which we are having. Organizational commitment affects the job satisfaction of an employee. Environmental perception affects the job satisfaction of an employee. Behavior of the co-workers affects the job satisfaction of an employee. The job satisfaction of an employee affects the staying intention of an employee. That is, the uh, employee wants to stay in the organization or not. So first of all, we will run the basic model without any control variables. So run it, go in the estimates and please don't doubt the estimates you will have to note down this estimate. So here, organizational commitment is affecting job satisfaction as the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Quite good. Environmental perception affects the job satisfaction. Three stars are there, means this relationship is quite significant. Behavior of the co-workers and its effect on job satisfaction. This is insignificant. Job satisfaction affecting the staying intention. This is also significant as three stars are there. This is insignificant as the p-value is more than 0 0.05. Now we want to see that this relationship which is there, is it getting, uh, are we getting a different results when we introduce the control variables or we want to see that is there any confounding effect or not. So we'll go on the canvas, we'll activate the list of variables which are there in the data set. I know that, that the C1 is a variable which is gender. So I want to include the gender as a controlling variable and I want to see that does the gender due to the presence of gender the relationship among all these variables does it get altered or not so for this I will connect gender with job satisfaction and staying intention now why I have connected only with job satisfaction and staying intention the reason is they are endogenous variable I should connect control variables this I should connect the straight or arrows of the control variable only with the endogenous variable, not with the exo. Or in other words, all those variables which are having an error terms on it, I will connect the control variable to it. Next what? Next is all the exogenous have to be connected. So this is gender is exo, one, selected, two, three, four. You can do the single selection with the help of this icon. Make sure all exogenous turns blue. Now go in plugins, draw the covariances. So you will have to connect all the covariances. Now again run the model. Again view text, go in the estimates and please note down this relationship. Okay, I have already copied this relationship in my PPT so that we can do the comparison. So, 
this is your uh, regression weights before introducing the control variable and this is after introducing the control variable let's compare so here the estimate that is organizational commitment affecting job satisfaction its estimate is 0 0.063 and it uh, it was significant the p value was 0 0.037 here this relationship has changed by 0 0.061 and it's not a significant change moreover the relationship is still significant so the first uh, so the first part is significant in both of them. Let's talk about the environmental perception. Here it is 0.168, here it is 0.169 and significant so there is no change. Co-workers minus 0 0.049, here minus 0 0.040 and it is insignificant here and here also it is insignificant because the p-value is more than 0 0.05. Let's talk about job satisfaction to staying intention. 0.236, 3 stars. 0.236, 3 stars quite good so there is no change now let's talk about c1 is it affecting job satisfaction so here the estimate is 0 0.029 and the p-value is more than 0 0.05 so the gender is insignificant on job satisfaction let's talk about gender on staying intention it is negative and it's significant it means that gender is affecting the staying intention but if you see overall overall that does the model does including the categorical variable which is gender as a control variable in the map model does it change the regression weights or not it is not changing so what is our conclusion as there have been no significant changes in the estimates upon introducing the control variable we can infer that the confounding effects are not present so this was all about how to work on uh, structural model after introducing the control variables for more videos on spss i must kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos on spss ms don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the like button